Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Tree Greenfield and I'm here to read the cards for you. Um, this reading is a timeless reading, so that means whenever this message finds you, it's meant for you. If the message resonates with you, it was meant for you. If the res message doesn't resonate with you, then it just isn't your time this reading, but there are other readings for you. Your, uh, your sun, moon, or ascendant placements are all valid in this reading as well as in others. So with that uh, being said, let's begin. I'm going to uh, base this reading on your uh, past, present, and future, your internal and your external strengths and energies at this time. And we're going to find out uh, how things are going for you in your process of a project that you're working on. Um, or some other goal that you have in mind and we're going to get the advice from spirit to uh, help you to encourage you and let you to help you overcome any obstacles that you have, may that may have arisen for you or anything like that so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and begin and let's go ahead and start with um, this Rider weight deck here okay for Taurus, spirit guides, please help us to understand what Taurus needs to know for their highest good at this time. Okay. Okay. Right, let's see what we have here so far. We have some conflict, the Queen of Cups, and some indecision. So, to begin with, we have um, what came out first, I believe, was this Queen of Cups being open to receive the healing and nurturing you need. So the Queen of Cups is an imaginative, a good-natured, a compassionate, uh, calm, and receptive. So she's, she's focused on this thing that she loves. Perhaps for you it's this project or this goal of, that you have in mind. Or it could be something, uh, you know, a... Um, a, a loving, you know, like a, a soulmate kind of thing. But in any case, she's definitely staying focused on that. Um, she's pouring her emotions into it, and she's enjoying this um, connection that she has with this, with spirit, and with the um, the connection she has to this thing that she loves. The next card we I saw come out was this. Um, Libra energy, uh, swords energy, two of swords, um, showing that there's a point of indecision, um, that you're rebuilding your strength while you're trying to, um, you know, make a decision or block off other outside influences. There's a peace at this time with yourself. You're Going inside, closing out the, um, you know, being blind to the to the outside. Um, the choice that has to be made here, uh, that there's a, an end, some kind of indecision, perhaps. Um, but there's also this time of like taking time out and thinking and using your own intuition as a guide. Um, we also have the six of cups here, and this card is about uh, new love or naivete in love, pleasure after hardship, nostalgia. Um, the card, the message on this card is to reach out to others with love and compassion. And as the Queen of Cups energy it looks like that would be easy for you to do. Um, but healing and empathy are um, a crucial part of the growth process here. And we also have some competition or some struggle here with the Five of Wands. The, um, there could be some conflicts, some arguments, competition, um, so that you're finding that as you move towards your goal, as you move towards your uh, accomplishing this um, thing that you have your eye on, uh, you might be facing some, 
you seem to be facing some challenges here, but um, you know, you, you can understand that um, you know, this is part of the deal, that there's positive and negative to everything and that you can accept that and you can overcome that. So I'm going to go ahead and go a step further and looking into this situation for you, Taurus. I'm going to check, take a look at this uh, Spirit Song Tarot and get some more information on these energies and how to deal with them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. For Taurus, highest good. What does Taurus need to know right now? Okay, Taurus. The first card you have is Awakening, Renewal, Enlightenment. This is like the Judgment card. So there is a um, need for an awakening or else you are experiencing this awakening, this renewal, rejuvenation, um, you know, this clarity and understanding and um, epiphany that you may be having right now or you will be having soon. Next we have the Seven of Feathers, the Seven of Swords, if you will. This is uh, indicating a need for preparation and resourcefulness or strategy or also keeping in mind to not be uh, to not be um, dishonest with oneself um, in a situation or with others and now we have the five of feathers the five of swords so more more air energy here strategy and resilience here on this five of feathers okay so this is another uh, card of indicating that there's some conflict and some things to deal with and things to think about and that's probably what's driving this period also in this two of swords we have lots of swords here and so um, spirit is going I'm glad you came we're going to look into this because spirits going to help you find solutions to your problems and helping you to deal with the conflicts that you feel especially the mental challenges like the things that you have to work out in your mind in order to move forward so i'm going to go ahead and take the guidebook and look at these um, cards here because they have a lot of information for us the first one is a major arcana and it's called awakening and it in fact is um, similar to the um, energy of the judgment card so let's check take a look at the awakening and this is a peacock so think about the peacock renewal and enlightenment peacock watchful and dignified trusts in the wonders that the future holds her feathers are associated with resurrection arising from the ashes it's now time to shed the feathers of your past and be rid of your old ways of thinking. Step into the beauty of your individuality with a new plume of self-confidence. Graced with the vision to see ahead, Peacock will direct you in making all of the changes you desire, changes that will result in new patterns and breakthroughs. This is a time of inner development and new beginnings. Great things are about to take place. Be mindful of your dream state, as it will bring forth revelations and ideas that will help you shape your new reality. Allow the new to emerge. You are the divine self-awakened, reawakened. So this is a time of spiritual awakening and healing with a new purpose. And so this Queen of Cups is where you are you know likely to be feeling this you know this um uh new love for a strong love for your spiritual growth and your achievements that you are working towards um the message also says do not act in haste without consideration of consequences let go of ill feelings associated with the past and be open to new ideas and experiences so as you're in this state of the two of swords and you're trying to make a choice 
between this or that. Also consider that there are other ways, other options besides the, the two that you can see clearly in front of you. Um, um, when you're dealing with this past, the, the nostalgia, perhaps there's some conflict there and some painful things there, but uh, it's not only that, it's also the, just the way that you were and that you used to be and that was appropriate for you at that time. But now you're going through a reawakening, so it's time to move past that. It's time to grow and, uh, you know, look at the things that, um, you know, maybe were a comfort for you in the past, but in the future they, they may be holding you back some. And let me think what an example for that might be. Um Okay, I'm just going to say for my own self, like for me, you know, I uh, enjoy watching TV and resting and being, you know, um, separating myself from the world and being isolated, uh, you know, uh, exploring my own interests always and never and not balancing that with uh, interaction and connection with others. This is just an example to give you. But so that's something that nourished me at the time, but now it's not helping me anymore. In order for me to grow and move forward and to reach my goals, I have to break out of that comfort zone and I have to learn new ways to cope by, um, you know, connecting with other people and being more uh, open with them. So that's just an example of how something that, could have been good for you in the past is something that you want to look at and see what is it that I can um, change in myself to grow and to help me to reach my goal. Um, and so we also have, you know, there's ill feelings and conflict here with the five of feathers and the five of wands, this, this uh, struggle with others or, or else the struggle with your own self, your own passions and your own thoughts and things that are creating some kind of conflict with you, with your mind and holding you back and putting you in this stalemate situation so that, you know, um, I mean, there's, there's a benefit to this being in this place of uh, contemplation and reflection, but, you know, you want to also be able to, um, um, deal with the conflict and the, uh, when the time is right so that you can move forward confidently. Um, okay. And so let's look more into these cards here. The seven of feathers is going to help us to learn um, how to prepare and be resourceful at this time. So let's take a look at those. So the seven of feathers is dep depicted by the cheetah. Preparation and resourcefulness. A warrior, Cheetah knows her strength and masters her natural abilities. Armed with foresight, she responds swiftly with new approaches to any problems. Cheetah guides you in focusing on your goal, helping you reach it with ease and grace. Use your initiative and be prepared to make your move. Keep yourself ahead of the game by closely observing what is going on. With eyes and mind open, dishonest behavior will be revealed. Look within and study all angles. You instinctively know what steps you need to take to bring forth the best results. So listen to your inner wisdom, Taurus, at this time and knowing how to move forward. And this is something that you're going to do this is something natural for you to do, um, but this is just a reminder that um, you can look ahead and, and take advantage of the, the moments that are meant for you to pounce, like the cheetah. Uh, new approaches might be considered. So this is another way of looking at this two of swords cards. You know, you have some, you have two choices, let's say. You have this way or that way. And also remember that there are other approaches. There are newer approaches. Approaches that will get you to this island in the background. This island of uh, past those rocky rough waters. And 
the way to get there may not be this or that. It may be the third way or the fourth way. So look within, study all the angles, and use your intuition to know what you need to do to bring forth the best results. Use logic, and that's all these, feather, all these feathers and swords here indicating logic and uh, new approaches mentally. Um, if, a pro if an approach has not been bringing the desired results, change your strategy. Be daring and take the initiative. So, Taurus, for, for you, if you've been trying the same old way of doing thing, things, it's time now for to look at things from every angle and find a new approach. And at that, for that purpose, you may be needing to take this downtime to look within and just stop, pause, and think about uh, what other options you have besides the obvious ones in the front of your face. Okay, I'm going to look at the five of feathers now. Um, Let's see, the five of feathers, or as we're familiar with, the five of swords, um, is depicted here by an armadillo, strategy and resilience. Armadillo brings gifts of protection and resilience. She has the ability to expand the borders of her comfort zone while protecting her boundaries. Armadillo's energy provides a shield against emotional harm. Be open to varied opinions, yet stay balanced without compromising your personal principles. Okay. Wear your spiritual armor, yet choose your battles, knowing that you have the inner strength to move forward whatever the outcome. Conflict is a test of willpower. You can agree to disagree and at the same time stand firmly for what you truly believe in. The face of adversity can bring a fresh perspective. A change in approach may be what is needed to manifest the desired results. So Taurus, um, again, the message is repeated for you. In this um, goal, this, uh, act, this uh, achievement that you are working towards, it looks like you are at a point where you need to make a new approach. You need to examine things. You need to take advantage of the conflicts that are coming your way and the, the struggles that you're dealing with. Take a, a moment in that time and use it to your advantage as a point of being in the two of swords mode, taking time out, going within and finding the inspiration in that conflict that's going to uh, give you a spark of inspiration of how to do things differently. And that's going to probably, that's going to help you uh, a great deal to come up with a new approach. And so I think that this is pretty, um, pretty good advice for anyone trying to overcome a challenge in reaching uh, a goal. And so um, defeat can open old wounds and bring about anguish and fear, letting go of past negative experiences can shift, can generate a shift in attitude to remembering that, you know, it can awaken you and give you the epiphany to realize that there's a big change happening here. You are, you are the driver of that change. You are creating that change. And, you know, it's up to you to decide which way you want to go and how you want to do it. If you want to have, you know, you want to use strategy, preparation, and uh, stability. Um, so letting go of the past negative experiences, if, if, you know, like we were talking about earlier, things that may have been holding you back or things that maybe other people did to you or made you feel like you couldn't do it. Um, you know, things are changing now. You can let go of that, that, you know, if that was something that was holding you back or is holding you back, that's another thing to let go of at this time. Okay, I'm going to top this little pyramid off with the Egyptian Oracle cards. This is a timely uh, time to use, a good time to use these right now because of the, uh, we are in Leo season presently as I'm doing this reading right now, even though this is a timeless reading. Uh, but the, the energy of the uh, Lionsgate portal is, is a, among us right now. And so um, there's a lot of 
ancient Egyptian history there. So I'm going to use these cards here for our guidance, uh, further guidance and advice, and to let you see how um, Spirit is supporting you now at this time. And this is going to be very helpful, I think, for us again. So let's check this out. Get two cards at least here for Taurus, please. Thank you, Spirit. What are best? What does Taurus need to know now? Okay. All right, let's go with this. Okay. So the first card we have is Exploration. The god is named Hu, or H-U-H, Hu, Hu. And the number here is 28, which is like a, um, a 10 or a 1. So um, let's look up what Hu has to explain for us. And number 28, Exploration. He is represented with his arms raised with a palm branch in each hand and a smaller one as a headdress. He is called the God of millions of years because he is the personification of, it, of infinity or eternity. With respect to the deceased, he grants millions of years in the afterlife. He symbolizes individuality and the desire for inner searching. If you are going through a moment of profound crisis, have faith. Take things as they are and take your time. You are destined to evolve. It will be a slow, profound movement which needs time for you and the circumstances to reach maturity. Slowness advises you to be prudent, reserved, discreet, and patient and have a sense of duty. And so this is very appropriate for us, uh, for you at this time, Taurus, because, um, you know, the slow, methodical way of producing and of um, uh, building something that you are focused on with love and compassion and with intense um, inspiration, like this Queen of Cups is doing, you know, um, reawakening because there's there's a rebirth there's a uh, an evolution in your in your spirit in your soul right now and you're moving forward and you're uh, being reminded by this Egyptian oracle card of the oracle from who to take the time and explore those options like I was saying with this two of swords explore your options you know, think about your resources and strategy. So there we go. We have one more to look at. Let's check out this one. And we have number 32, Mertziger Righteousness. Okay, 32, Mertziger Righteousness. This is another five. We have a five here and a five here. And so here, let's look at Mertziger, number 32. Her name means she who loves silence. More often depicted as a snake with a woman's head, it is a presence that watches silently and punishes evildoers with poison. Divinity of a terrible nature, but merciful with her devotees. She punishes sacrilege and those who break an oath, but is equally generous in forgiving those who are sincerely repentant. She symbolizes authority and intelligence, key words for a full and peaceful life. Merziger puts you on your guard against a few people you do not know well who might bring cruelty, malice, deceit, and conflict. Scrutinize in silence and stay alert. That reminds me very much of these uh, five of feathers and the seven of feathers. Uh, you know, and also as well as this, these, the five of wands and the two of swords to stay silent, to have mercy on those and, you know, watch out for those who are trying to cause conflict here with your five of feathers and your five of wands. Watch out for those who are uh, perhaps being deceptive towards you. 
you know, don't jump to any conclusions. Stay silent. Think about these things in your own, uh, you know, with your own spirit and intuition. And, uh, you know, practice righteousness for yourself, whatever's right for you. Um, understanding that, um, you know, mercy is important in every situation. You know, you want to be understanding and merciful towards others that do cross your path in, in a, a negative way, but at the same time protecting yourself and uh, like this armadillo being resilient and having strategy and not allowing those conflicts and things to uh, to take you off your path or to bring you back to these negative to any old negative feelings or feelings of doubt or that you that you don't have what it takes or whatever because that's simply not the case okay so i think that's going to do it this time for us Taurus, I hope that this has been helpful for you in helping you to reach your goals, helping you to um, uh, take care of the details in your life and helping you get closer and closer to where you want to be. Um, I really appreciate you coming here. I hope that you'll join me again. You know, and I ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and uh, let's just uh, look forward to meeting again the next time. Thank you so much, Taurus. Love and light. Yeah.